Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I am the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Do you know guys different between paste and paste in place in Adobe Photoshop CC? If no, let me explain it to you. I have opened two documents, one document with uh, my logo. Yes, I love coffee, so I decided to use Victoria's Coffee uh, logo as my example for today's tutorial. So I have uh, my um, original document with Victoria's Coffee logo. And my uh, second document is simple um, document with a white uh, background. What I will do? Um, I will highlight uh, Victoria's Coffee layer in my original document. I will go to select all, edit, copy. Now I will switch to my new document and I will go to edit and paste. As you can see, my logo paste in the middle of my new document. Uh, but what if I would like to paste my uh, logo exactly in the same location um, I copied it from? Uh, I don't know if you remember, guys. Let me show you. Uh, in my original document, Victoria's Coffee logo is located in the bottom left corner of my um, original document. So I would like to paste this logo in uh, the bottom left corner of my new document. So in my new document, I will go to edit, paste special, paste in place and voila, I'm done. Uh, my uh, Victoria's Coffee logo paste exactly in the same location. I'm happy right now. I would like to give you two tips. First tip is I will recommend you to uh, create both document in the same resolution to um, avoid a disproportional effect in your uh, new uh, document. Example, if you will have your uh, original uh, document in a bigger resolution and uh, your new document in a smaller resolution, you will have disproportional effect. Your uh, Victoria's Coffee uh, logo could have uh, like this effect, you will lose a part of your um, logo and you need to move it, resize it. To um, avoid uh, uh, extra steps, create two documents in the same resolution. And the second tip is, example, what if you would like to copy a Victoria's Coffee layer and create a new document in the same size as your Victoria's Coffee layer? So you can do it. Uh, you will select your Victoria's Coffee layer, highlight this layer, select all, edit, copy. Now you will go to file and new. And voila, Photoshop created and highlighted a new document exact in same size as your Victoria's Coffee layer. You will need to create uh, to click on create. Let me uh, en enlarge it just like this. Edit, paste, and voila. How easy is it, guys? So this is what I wanted to share with you. If you like it. Please share my tutorial, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later on, guys. Thank you. Bye.